Oh my gosh. I did not expect to get emotional like this. Do you want to see what may be the best fan mail I've ever gotten? Come with me. Don't wait for tomorrow. Dr. Squish, today's video is a bit different than what you're used to. This week in the mail, I received this box <laughs> in my P.O. box. I cannot express my surprise when I opened this box and it was fan mail. I don't get a lot of fan mail. If you've ever sent me fan mail, thank you so, so much. I have kept every single solitary piece of fan mail I've ever gotten. It's just not a lot. Usually very, very sweet squishy fans will send me a sweet letter or a drawing that they, they drew and I open and read every single one and I have kept them all, but I just don't get a lot of it. Maybe one or two letters a month. I got this in the mail and I opened it up. I was very, very, very surprised. This is not only something that I appreciate, but I think that if you are a fan of Dr. Squish and if you have been with me the whole time or for a very long time, you are also going to appreciate everything that's in here. So I wanted to share it with you. First of all, when I opened it, there was this. A nicely typed out letter. I want to read this to you quickly before I get into this box because I teared up reading this. I was not planning on doing this video this week and all of I got this yesterday and all of a sudden I'm doing this video because I had to share it with all of you. Let me read it. Dearest Dr. Squish, greetings. Our family is long overdue in writing you. We have been squishy fans of yours since you, Papa, and not so little Squish lived in Japan in what feels like a lifetime ago. We had to stop and take a moment to thank you for the many hours of laughter, fun, and sanity you have brought to our family over the past seven years. You're hilarious and we love you so, so much. I love all of you guys too. Thank you so much. Your wild, ridiculous sense of humor makes us laugh when nobody else can. When we saw that YouTube had recently dubbed the majority of your content inappropriate and deleted it, we just about lost it. How freaking dare you, YouTube? I also almost lost it. I, I, I understand. We seriously wanted to reach through our TV screen and hug you after YouTube slapped you in the face like that. You've put so much of your heart, soul, and time and money into your content over the years, and it's just confusing and heartbreaking that it can just be erased overnight like that. Thank you for understanding that. It truly is a strange journey being a content creator, not just for me, but for so many people like me who have created content and have also had to. So I appreciate, I appreciate that so much. Thankfully, a majority of your videos can still be viewed through Happy Kids TV. That is where the majority of my videos are. My old videos that are gone, you can go check them out on Happy Kids. We noticed a few of our favorite videos are still missing, but at least the bulk of them can still be found there. My kids are learning Japanese, yet another reason why we love you and your videos. They made these cards and drawings for you about three years ago when I promised them that we would write to Doc's Playhouse and get Rochelina to deliver something to you. Oh, you guys have been with me, been with me a long time. We wanted to make you a Jose and Friends wall calendar to send you for Christmas. Sadly, I dropped the ball on that, so I printed out some of the pictures of Jose doing very Jose things just to give you an idea of what we were going for with our wall calendar idea. What a character. When you and Little Squish are walking around the Toys R Us Japan with Jose commenting all those things you see. Oh my gosh, Dr. Squish Gold. So stinking funny. <laughs> I loved that video. We purchased our own Princess Sparkle Farts hand puppet a few years back. She's blue with pink hair, so we named her Lady Twinkle Toots. That is, that is a good name. We think of her as Princess Sparkle Farts' cousin, and we love all of your old school Dr. Squish characters. Dookie, Red, Charles the Dragon, Jitters, Junebug, Apollo the Positive Possum, the list goes on, but we especially like PSF, Princess Sparkle Farts. So my kids and I just wanted to send you some love and let you know that if you decide to keep making fun, silly, squishy content, we will keep watching it. Keep that sunshine yourself, Doc, forever your squishy fans, Myra, Ava, and Edie. And I'm so sorry if I pronounced any of your names wrong. I absolutely don't want to do that, but thank you so incredibly much, Myra, Ava, and Edie. That letter was so sweet and I was not prepared for any of the things in here. So I want you, all of my squishy fans, to uh, open up Myra, Ava, and Edie's box with me because it is going to be awesome for all of us. <laughs> so let's see what they sent. Okay, first of all, when I opened this box, I cracked up right away because <laughs> Myra used uh, Nerdy Crafters paper, her tissue paper, and I think that's so funny, like such a little detail because when I did a Nerdy Crafters Super Not Another Crap kit that I wanted my own, you know, tissue paper. So I love that you supported Jackie and then you sent me <laughs> her tissue paper. So these are the drawings the kids did. Look at Jose, that's so cute. Uh, all of the putty peeps, and it says, Ride like the wind, burrito! He's going to be my donkey, and I will ride him into the sunset and call him burrito. Ride like the wind, burrito, ride! 
I love that so much. That's amazing. These are some of the other drawings. It's Jose. I got a hamster. The fact that you guys are referencing actual videos with like actual things that Jose said. This is speak, Chimichanga, speak. Uh, Jose, I think, dude, I think you dropped it on the ground. <gasps> Chimichanga, no. This is Mustachio, also known as Jenkins. This is Junebug asking if you like her necklace. This is Can I get a pizza? Jose. I want to live in snack world and eat all the snacks. Cotton candy, waffles, tacos, sushi, hamburgers, pizza. Can I get a pizza? This is Jose after he's been in the Gudetama suitcase. He was all melty. <laughs> and his friend says sparkle farts. I'm guessing this is Lady Twinkle Toots since, <laughs> since she's blue. Those drawings are awesome, guys, and I appreciate the artwork so much. But I want you guys to all see all of the other things that they sent because it's pretty awesome. Look at this glorious homemade poppet that they made because they followed my instructions. Oh. It looks like Edie made this one. So good, you guys. It's so cute. I actually love this so much. Okay, I can't really believe that you guys sent me all this stuff. So in this box, it is a glass. It is a Gooday Tama glass! Oh my gosh, look at his little Gooday booty! It's so cute! He's like, oh. <laughs> it's so cute! He's, I mean, it's not just Gooday Tama, it's just Gooday booty! I can't wait to drink out of it on my show. It's so cute. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 you guys, okay, okay. <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> this makes me so happy. <laughs> Let me show you the pictures that they took for their Jose wall calendar, which I'm stealing this idea. I love this idea. This is hilarious. They have clearly bought their own Jose. Look at Jose and his little pizza. He's li- <laughs> What kind of life is Jose living? He's like- Oh my gosh, he's perfect! I love everything about this picture. There's nothing about this picture that I don't like. So this is a this is a brilliant picture. Just FYI. <laughs> he's literal pizza. Look how happy he is! Oh my gosh. This is an amazing picture. And now he's with burritos. Not only that, like fully loaded burritos, and, and I am getting hungry. He also looks fully loaded, by the way. Like, he looks fully loaded. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I keep wanting to say Princess Sparkle Farts. This is Lady Twinkle Toots, Princess Sparkle Farts' cousin. She's very sassy. Oh, <laughs> ah, you got her oh, face like down perfect. That's so cute. <gasps> you guys not only have Jose and Princess Sparkle Farts, but also Dookie and Boppy. Like that is throwing it way back. <laughs> about those pictures. Those are the best thing I, okay, I love it. Are they supposed to represent like Jose and Junebug? They're so cute. Oh, look, yes, oh my gosh. I don't and have never had this. It is a Gudetama lip cream. It is a macaron lip balm and uh, it is made in Korea. Look at his little booty. Now, Little Squish, my daughter, not so Little Squish, she actually has one that was the cinema roll one. I am so excited right now. Everything about today is so good. Where did you get this stuff from? Am I mistaken? Didn't I have this in my big cat show? Now these are chocolate. It says they are crunchy chocoretto. That means they're crunch chocolate. I think they're gonna be kind of like Nestle's Crunch Bars, but it says they have got neko no kado iri. That means they have got a kitty cat card inside and there's 40 different cards to collect. And if that's true, if I did, I have not seen such a thing as this in over five years. <gasps> There's a card inside! Oh my gosh! Look at this kitty! So cute, oh my goodness. Th it says this is an American short hair and it says that she really likes um, fun things. I don't know how to express how happy I am right now because my very most favorite thing to do was open Japanese toys and blind boxes and things and I don't get to do that. This is, my whole entire week has been made with this box. Just like 
skirt. That's exactly what she looked like when she was a baby. It says that this one is a Norwegian forest cat. Now, Squish Kitty is not a Norwegian forest cat, but the kitty that I had before I got Squish Kitty, his name was Fuji. So sweet. He was my baby, and he was a Norwegian forest cat. And so this is, like, really, really, really special to me. <laughs> Look at what it is! Okay, so this is Sumiko Gurashi Ebi Fry. Ebi Fry is a fried shrimp. <laughs> He's one of my favorites, and in the... Uh, Jose goes to uh, Toys R Us in Japan. Jose saw uh, this one, Tonkatsu, called him Floof Butt. Floof Butt is a pork chop. He found that out because Tonkatsu. And uh, Ebi Fry and Tonkatsu are like best friends. This is so cute. He's so floofy. <laughs> oh, my little floofy fried shrimp. You guys, I love him so very, very much. Oh, where did you find him? Ah, get me It's a moco moco mocoretto on Dr. Squish. I have opened many, many mocolets. I have opened many, many toilets. Never this set. What series is this? Holy cow. It's been a long time since I opened a, a mocolet a candy kit, like a toilet candy kit. Basically, these are the grossest candy in the world. <laughs> you get a toilet in here, one of these awesome toilets. I cannot believe there's a kitty toilet. It's a wizard kitty. Basically put like foamy candy in there and you drink it with a straw it's really terrible it's gross it's not good but the toilets are so cute i have like a basket like in my closet somewhere just of these toilets but this one i've never seen oh my gosh sumiko gurashi there's more sumiko what is this put it in chew so what is it where did you get all this stuff from i am dying all this is stuff i've not seen <gasps> it's a candy ca oh what it makes a huge gummy of tokage Tokage means lizard. Uh, Tokage is the little blue lizard character from Sumiko Gurashi, and it's gonna make a huge gummy. I cannot wait to do these. Oh my goodness. I am so excited about this. <gasps> it's earrings! It's, it's earrings. You guys, not only is it very beautiful, can Gudetama be beautiful? But not only is it very beautiful enamel Gudetama earrings, but they have a peach on them. I live in Georgia, so like Gudetama peach booty booty peaches. <laughs> That's so cute! I don't even know if my ear holes are still there, right? They should, they have to be, right? Once you get your, your, your ears pierced, they're still there, right? Aha! They are! Glorious! Beautiful! <gasps> oh, you guys. Look. Look. It's Gudetama <laughs> peaches. <laughs> I love it. Oh my goodness. Okay. We have an every burger chocolate shaped chocolatey filled cookies. These are amazing. I think that little squish likes these. Have you guys had these? Let me know if you've had these. One more thing in here. <laughs> it is a princess sparkle farts t-shirt. How in the world? How? What? How? Now, what? How do you get a Princess Sparkle Farts t-shirt? This is absolutely amazing. <laughs> I cannot wait to wear this. This is so good. This is so good, you guys. Look at her. Look at her face. Oh. <laughs> I don't understand. I'm actually incredibly emotional having all of this stuff because... I know that I have fans, like it's something that you know that you have, but knowing that you have fans and then knowing that there's people out there who have followed you all this time and, and knowing that they know all of your, your videos and they remember what you did and that it mattered and that it, it brought families together and it made them laugh. This is more than I expected from anybody and I've just never received anything like this. And I know that there's people who, who like to watch Dr. Squish. Like, as a content creator, I know that. I know it. But getting things like this that shows me that you guys have watched so much. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But seeing that you guys have watched and you remember and it, and it means something. It means that it meant something to somebody. And that, that means everything to me. And I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for all of my squishy fans. Oh my gosh. I did not expect to get emotional like this. Myra, Ava, and Edie, thank you so much 
for inviting me into your home. Thank you for inviting me into your family and making me part of it. And I am so thankful that you are part of my squishy squad and that you are here and that, oh God, I never expected to receive something like this in the mail. And I can't tell you what it meant to me. I can't explain what this, what this did because I've spent all of 2023, January and February, not really sure what to do. Um, not really sure if, if Dr. Squish was worth it. Not really sure if, if, if I should keep going and, and just not really sure what next steps were. And I don't, I'm still not really sure, you know, things change and they come and go, but I'm not really sure. But this just, this means so much to me. And I want you guys to know how appreciative I am of everything that you put together. And it was perfect in a way I can't describe to you. It was so perfect. So to all of you out there who are Squishy fans, whether you're new Squishy fans or you're really old Squishy fans and have been with me for the past five, six years, I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You just mean the world to me. You, you, you mean everything and you're the only reason why I keep doing this because you guys make me so incredibly happy. And uh, please give Myra and Ava and Edie some love for sending this awesome gift. Let them know what you liked the best and what your favorite thing was. And let me know what you liked the best. And, and just let's have a conversation in the comments together. You and me uh, and all the rest of the Squishy fans. What are your favorite memories of Dr. Squish? What was your favorite video? And uh, what would you like to see? I love you guys so, so much. And I can't wait to see you on my next video. Bye-bye, squishy fans.